Excellent to see you. I have written down six example questions of top heavy fractions, yeah, improper fractions, which we have to simplify to a mixed number. Now, perhaps you want to try it yourself first, yeah, and then you compare your answers with mine. So, if you want to do that, then you put the video on pause now, please. Okay, so we're talking about top heavy fractions, yeah, where the numerator is larger than the denominator, and we have to turn that into a mixed number. Yeah? So, a whole and a fraction, a proper fraction. Now, 29 over 4 is nothing more than 29 divided by 4. And you ask yourself, well, how many times does 4 fit into 29? Yeah? And that's why, again, it is so important that you know your timetables. Because you know that that is 7 times. It fits in 7 times. Why? Because 4 times 7 is 28. It's not 29, no, 28. So what is my remainder? My remainder is 1, eh? 29 minus 28. So I still have 1 which I have to divide by 4. So the mixed number that belongs to 29 over 4 is 7, 1 over 4. Now, before I continue, I'd just like to say that that whole number, the 7, should, uh, or the, let's say the division sign of your fraction, should roughly be in the middle of that whole number. So if I just grab a piece of paper, 7, 1 over 4, that's how you write it. Because if you would write it like this, 7 over 4, it looks like 1 over 74. You see that? So really take care in uh, writing down a mixed number properly. Yeah? Or 7, 1 over 4, now it looks like 71 over 4. Again, a top heavy fraction. Yeah? So a mixed number, you write the whole, and then the fraction, the division sign of that fraction, roughly in the middle of that whole number. Yeah? So 7, 1 over 4. Now it's clearly a mixed number. Okay, that was just a side note there. Let's continue. 33 over 5, yeah? 33 divided by 5. How many times does 5 fit into 33? Yeah? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. 6 times 30. What is my remainder? 30, 33 minus 30, my remainder is 3 over 5. Yeah? Because I still got to divide that 3, that remainder, by 5. And every time when I look at my fraction, I make sure it's a proper simplified fraction. Yeah? And it is. 66 over 7. How many times does 7 fit into 66? Well, it's not going to be 10 times, because that's going to be 70. It's 9 times. And 9 times 7, 63. Yeah, what is my remainder? 3 over 7. All right, so again, timetables essential, boys and girls, that you are comfortable with your timetables. 18 over 4, 4, 8, 12, 16. So that is four whole ones. 16, what is my remainder? 16, so that's 2 over 4. Is that my final answer? 4, 2 over 4. No, it's not, because I have to simplify that into 4. And what is the common factor between 2 and 4? And the common factor is 2, so it's 1 over 2. Eh? I can divide the numerator and the denominator by 2. Yeah, so 2 divided by 2, 4 divided by 2. So it's 4 and a half. 102 divided by 20, yeah? 102 over 20. Well, that is 5. 5 times 20 is 100. My remainder is 2 over 20. Again, both of them are even. That means that they at least have a factor 2 in common. And if I take that factor out, 5, 1 over 10, that is my final simplified fraction. 45 over 8. Yeah, that will fit in 5 times because 8 times 5 is 40. My remainder will be 5 over 8, no common factor there. All right, so improper fractions or top-heavy fractions to mixed numbers, it's nothing more than a division, and you check the remainder, which you then still have to divide by 4, or by 5, or by 7, by the denominator anyway. All right, let's turn it around now for the next video, where I'm going to give you mixed numbers, and you're going to find the improper fraction belonging to that number. I'll see you there.